What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and you guys see where we are. I am in my car. So that means that we are going to a local card show here in Louisville, Kentucky. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's been a couple of months since I've gotten to go to a card show. The last one I went to, I did set up at. I'm not gonna be setting up at this one. I'm just gonna go to the show and enjoy it, walk around for a little bit and see what I can pick up. So I have to run a few errands real quick. I'm gonna stop at the ATM, get some cash. And then you guys already know we are at Chick-fil-A. Gotta, gotta get Chick-fil-A to fuel up. And then I will check back in when we get to the show. Oh, it's okay. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So the bag has been secured. So we got our breakfast. Now we're going to hit up the ATM, get some cash for the show. And I'll check back in when we get there. All right, guys, so we did make it to the show. We are at the Moose Lodge here in Louisville, Kentucky. So uh, it's about 8.15 right now. The show did start at 8, so I'm going to head in here in a second. But real quick, I just figured I would uh, kind of go over some of the things that I'm going to be looking for inside the show, one being Hoops Premium Retail. I do want to pick up a good amount of that to uh, hopefully put in uh, mystery boxes in the future and then the other thing is graded cards so i want to pick up a decent amount of graded cards for fire packs and mystery boxes last time i was here at the show there wasn't really a lot of graded cards so hopefully i'm hoping you know people either bring some graded cards this time maybe there's some new dealers here uh we'll just have to wait and see but i'm hoping that there are some more things to pick up than last time at the show uh, last time, I think I probably made my least amount of pickups ever. So uh, that's, you know, just some of the things I'm going to be looking for. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys what I brought for a potential trade, and then we are going to head in. All right, guys. So real quick, I just wanted to go over a few cards that I did bring for potential trades to maybe help get some deals done. That is something that I would always recommend you do when you go to card shows. Just bring maybe 10 to 15 cards that you don't mind getting rid of that could potentially help close a deal. So I do have a Darius Garland Hoops Silver. We have the Tyler Hero Hoops Variation, the Zion Hoops. Uh, I think this is a short print. So uh, then we have a Pikachu VMAX. We have the KPJ Red Wave Auto goga uh terrence davis red we have a jamal murray rpa we got a couple tuas coming up Tua auto i actually was going through some boxes and completely forgot that i pulled that so that was a nice surprise that's a Tua auto i think out of 25 you got a goga out of contenders optic uh eric pascal out of contenders optic and then i did bring the uh, pj washington the show being in Louisville, Kentucky, there are definitely a lot of Kentucky fans, so I'm sure someone would, would definitely uh, be willing to work out a deal for that. And then we did bring a Rui Red Wave PSA 9. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go into the show and see what we can pick up. I'm going to go to the 
All right, guys, so just walked out of the show. I was in there a couple hours. It is a little bit after 10, so I was in there quite a while. My my, uh, my legs are tired. I was standing a long time, but I was able to pick up a decent amount of retail, and then I did make a few pickups. Uh, initial thoughts were that I didn't really find a ton of stuff I was interested in. Unfortunately, I did uh, pick up some graded cards, but that was really about it. And then, like I said, I picked up some retail. The main highlights of the show was actually from people that I met that gave me cards to uh, be graded by PSA. Some of the cards that I got were absolutely insane. So I'll be definitely be sure to show you some of those cards when I get home. So uh, that's gonna do it for now. I will check back in when I get home and show you guys everything that I picked up. All right guys, so we did make it back home. Uh, I'm actually recording this clip on the following day. So today is Sunday. I actually, I am recording this uh, clip during the halftime of the Ravens Titans game, which is why I do have the Lamar jersey on. Uh, I'm hoping that the Ravens can pull it out in the second half. They are currently tied right now. So been a pretty pretty good game so far. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the pickups that I did make at the show, as well as some cards that were given to me for my PSA five day submission. Um, this is a very, very small sample size of what was given to me. I have about 300 cards going out this week. So a pretty big five day submission. So I think I'm actually gonna do my first preview uh, submission video for PSA. Today Typically when I do that, I just show the cards that I'm sending, but there are some of the craziest, craziest cards I've seen in my life in this submission. So I have to do, you know, at least, you know, maybe the top like 30 to 40 cards in this submission, because let me tell you guys, once you see these couple here, you guys are gonna realize there's some crazy cards. So I will have that video coming this week as well as a PSA reveal. So I should have some cards coming back from PSA this week, as well as a couple other videos along the way. And I should have fire packs coming soon as well. You guys are gonna see here in a second, a couple that I did pick up for the next series. And then uh, be on the lookout on 502frank.com for breaks as well. I will post that on my uh, Instagram, but I should have a few breaks coming this week. So with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of the cards for the PSA submission. So uh, DeAndre Ayton National Treasures RPA. This one is to 99. So the true RPA that you are looking for out of National Treasures. DeAndre Ayton, so <laughs> crazy, crazy card. And, uh, you know, guys, when I said there's some of the craziest cards I've seen in my life, that is legit. So another one here, Seku National Treasures RPA out of 99. Again, the true RPA that you are looking for, the uh, the vertical one, not the horizontal. So uh, the, starting out with an Ayton and a Seku National Treasures RPA. And then we got a Steph Curry uh, downtown from one and one. Very, very cool looking cards. I love these downtowns from one and one. Super nice looking card. And then how about a Mike Trout and Aaron Judge uh, dual auto from Topps Dynasty. Let's see, is that one numbered? Um, yeah, there you go, four of five in the corner there. So <laughs> crazy, crazy Trout and Judge. And then how about this one? A Mike Trout auto from Transcendent, one of one. Insane, insane card. I have absolutely no idea what this is worth, but it's just gotta be just astronomical. Mike Trout, one of one out of Transcendent. The most expensive product that you could possibly buy. So just crazy. And then a Tyler Hero Flawless RPA numbered to 15. That is 15 of 15. Just an insane patch there. Super nice looking card. And then finally, uh, the last card of the sneak peek is a Giannis out of Flawless. Again, number 215. So very, very nice card there. <laughs> that's that's an understatement, but uh, some, some very, very nice cards there. So be on the lookout. Uh, hopefully in a, in a few days, I will have a preview of this PSA five-day submission. Some crazy, crazy cards. So uh, now to the pickups from the show. Didn't make a ton of pickups. Unfortunately, this one and the last one, there just wasn't really a ton of stuff I was interested in. I was really hoping to pick up some retail at the show, but I got there and there really wasn't anyone selling the retail. There were a few tables, but uh, they either had it 
like at market or above. And I was hoping to get some for under market. And luckily I did, someone did hit me up on Instagram and agree to meet me at the show and sell some retail. So that is basically how I, uh, you know, picked up the retail that I did get. I got six of these cellos and then I was able to get eight of the blasters. Uh, I just figured I would show you guys one and one rather than, you know, loading up the table with cellos and blasters. So I did pick up six of these and eight of these, and those are pretty much going to be used for future mystery boxes. So uh, if you guys are interested in those, hopefully those will be in late January. Should have some, uh, some more mystery boxes ready. And now uh, the few pickups that I did make, I actually worked out a trade. You guys saw the clip earlier in the video where I uh, showed some cards that I brought for potential trade to help get deals done. I did pay $100 in cash as well as the PJ Washington one-in-one -one RPA for these three cards. So we got a DeAndre Hunter Pink Ice PSA 10. This one will be in the next Fire Pack series. And then we got a Zion Emergent PSA 10 will also be in the next Fire Pack series. And finally, a LeBron Select. This one is a True Gem Plus. This one will probably be in a mystery box. The next series of Fire Packs, I want to do 100% PSA 10s. So I won't have any BGS cards in the next series. So these two will be in the next Fire Packs. This one will probably be in a future mystery box. So that is going to do it for the pickups. Like I said, didn't make a ton, but with as much retail as I did pick up, it was actually fairly expensive as well as these three cards. So not a ton of pickups, but still spent a pretty good amount of money. So just wanted to show you guys those as well as some of the cards for the next P uh, PSA submission. So I'll be on the lookout this week for a PSA preview as well as a reveal video. That is going to do it for this one. Hope you guys did enjoy the clips from the show and I'll see you very soon.